If your radiators aren't heating up properly or the top of the radiators are cold to touch, then you may need to bleed your radiators. Bleeding the radiators simply removes excess trapped air from the heating system, allowing the water to flow freely again. This trapped air tends to accumulate when you haven't used the radiator in a while or when changes in temperature have created bubbles in the system. Don't worry, bleeding the radiators on your central heating system is a quick and easy task that anyone can do. Here, we pull together some easy steps to get you going. All you'll need are two things, an old cloth to catch any escaping water and something to open the bleed valve. It's really important to make sure that your heating is off and the radiators are cold before you get started. For radiators with a slotted bleed screw, try using a flathead screwdriver as an alternative to a bleed key. If your radiator features a different sort of bleed screw, perhaps including a square or hexagonal opening within it, there are other alternative options. You could use an Allen key, a spanner, or a set of pliers. Before you start bleeding your radiator valves, let's protect the floors and carpets from any radiator water spillages by placing the cloth underneath the valve opening. Holding the cloth underneath, insert the radiator bleed key alternative into the valve, and slowly turn anti-clockwise until air starts escaping from the small vent hole. You'll hear a hissing noise. Then when you see water start to escape, turn the valve clockwise to retighten. Use the cloth to catch any escaping water if needed. Repeat on the other radiators that need attention, making your way back towards the boiler. When you're done, check the water pressure on the boiler because bleeding your radiators can affect the water pressure. It should read between 1 to 1.5 bar. If not, you might need to repressurize your boiler. Click on the link below to find out how to do this. Once you've done that, turn your central heating on and carefully check if the radiators are now heating up evenly. If you're having to bleed your radiators more than twice a year, then there might be something wrong with your boiler or system. For more advice or to arrange a visit straight away from one of our gas safe registered engineers, just click the get in touch link below.